I'm here with Lucas Zajczkowski with Access Data, and he's going to be presenting this week at Black Hat on an EMV design flaw that it could allow attackers to steal card data. So can you tell us a little bit about what you'll talk about and also the brief demo that you'll give there? Yeah, absolutely. So the presentation is point of sale system architecture and security. And the idea is to help inform the information security community about just those little nuances in point of sale systems that aren't very well known. How card data is uh, obtained through mag stripe readers, uh, the EMV chips on the cards, how it flows through the systems, and then where it's vulnerable to theft, as well as how attackers are actually exploiting that to steal the data. So part of that talk is to show an actual mag stripe read of a credit card, as well as a chip read, and how card data thieves would get card data from that. Mm -hmm. And is this just presenting, I guess, how exposed uh, EMV is? I know a lot of people have tried to get behind it and support it, but is this taking you know, the other perspective? Uh, part of the talk is to show the vulnerabilities in EMV because it is portrayed as like an end-all end -all, be-all and there are vulnerabilities in it to be able to steal card numbers and expiration dates using existing methods. Uh, for example, the RAM scrapers used at Target. Those same things could be used to steal card data from EMV chips. All right, thanks. So let's get into your demo. Sounds good. Right. Okay, so first thing I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate for you is the regular mag stripe reader that's used by uh, most businesses to run a credit card transaction. And to do the demonstration, I'm going to use my real credit card. You can see it's got the EMV chip that's uh, coming out here in the United States soon, is used in the rest of the world. It also has the magnetic stripe that most of us are used to seeing. So this mag stripe reader, uh, in most places, it's seen just like a keyboard. And when I swipe the card through, you can see it actually types out the track data very, very rapidly. And so that's why attackers will deploy keystroke recorders to capture that mag stripe data and they can create counterfeit cards using that. Now, a lot of people are pushing for EMV adoption to catch up with the rest of the world and it's seen as a much more secure method of doing credit card transactions, but it's not as secure as people realize. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a sale transaction here and it's gonna prompt me to insert my card so I'm going to go ahead and put it in there to read the chip. It's now asking me if the sale's OK. Now I'm going to go ahead and use a regular debugging tool made by Microsoft to dump the RAM contents from the point of sale software. Uh, this is similar to how the attackers at Target did a uh, RAM scraping attack to steal card data. Go ahead and close out of there. And if I open up the memory dump, I can do a find and find my name in there. So there's my name in plain text, Lucas Sajkowski. And then if I do a search for just a little bit of my card data to bring it up quickly, thanks, uh, 7911, you can see right there is my full credit card number followed by the expiration date in plain text. Uh, so the same attacks that are used for RAM scraping out there today could also be used to intercept card number and expiration date and cardholder name from an EMV chip transaction. All right, thanks, Lucas. Great demo. It was great to actually see you know, your name, the card information, and how easily it could be picked up by someone else. Um, so what do you think the next step is you know, for the financial industry? Um, are there, I mean, this was just a by design flaw. Are these very prevalent? I mean, that's one example. Yeah, uh, EMV is an international standard. Mm -hmm. So across the world, that vulnerability is present. Mm -hmm. And organizations just need to realize there is no shortcut to security. They need to have an effective program in place with the right tools, the right people and uh, even consider upgrading hardware to more specialized hardware that encrypts all card data. Uh, there's processors like Mercury Payment Systems that supports that type of uh, encryption at the hardware level. Mm -hmm. So even if a merchant gets hacked, there's no plain text card data anywhere for them to steal. Mm -hmm. And everyone has been saying that the U.S. needs to get on board with EMV. I mean, how far are we behind in general? <laughs> well, we're definitely years behind. Mm -hmm. So to be fair, uh, most countries that have implemented EMV, they only have a few banks involved, so it makes it a lot easier to roll out. Our infrastructure is much more complex, 
thousands of banks involved, millions of merchants, mm -hmm. and the uh, amount of savings that the financial community would save from reduced fraud by implementing EMV doesn't outweigh the cost of replacing the infrastructure, which is why we've lagged behind. So at this point, it's more a matter of, yeah, increasing the security a little bit since you can't clone that chip. But on the other hand, also just being in compliance with the rest of the international community on a set standard of, of credit card data transactions. All right. Well, thank you so much for being with us. Um, you just heard from Lucas Zeitschkowski at Access Data. And this is just the beginning of Black Hat. We have more in store for you on scmagazine.com.